Um, showcases are just always like um, when I signed to Capital, that's when I actually started doing showcases. I'd never really done them before that, and uh, they're always like they were really awkward at first because most this is kind of dis different. This is almost like a festival showcase. Like if you went to a festival with tons of stages, like that's what it's like. But most showcases are a bunch of like business people just sitting there and like looking at you while you're performing you know and normally you're only doing a few songs but it's a good experience man I've started doing a lot of them so this one was actually cool um, but yeah man no it, it was definitely cool I think the people people really liked it there's a lot of alternative type bands here and musicians and stuff and my music's kind of that way too so I think it definitely like fits in so I think showcases are just in general sometimes it's hard to tell because it's not like a show with fans like it's like not saying you can't make fans or there's not, you know, people who just love listening to music there, but it's just a little different. But no, I mean, I think the response is good. I don't think it's harder. If you, I think if you have like relatable, good music, you know, people will just they'll like it. Mm -hmm. They'll like the music. You put on a good show. So um, when I go into like doing music or whatever, I'm never like, um, you know the album's gonna be called this I'm gonna talk about this and that's like what I want it to be about it it's more like my music's so personal and it's whatever like instrumentals make me feel so um, I just that kind of mansion was like one of the last songs that I did so it just kind of came out that way and it was like my music's always so personal so then I thought it was kind of cool I mean I'm not the first person to say like your mind you know a metaphor for your mind is a house or whatever but I just thought the concept for like mansion this is my house I have a lot of memories I have a lot of like good memories bad memories I have all this stuff that goes on in my mind and I just my music's so personal it's almost like I'm I let people into my mind all the time and I give them like this um, this picture, you know, like this personal picture, and so then I was just like, I had a song called Mansion, that's probably the most personal song in the album, and so I was just like, I like that concept, the cool concept of like allowing fans and people that want to hear like personal like music, you know, so that's kind of how it came, came about. Personal songs are actually um, most of the time the easiest for me because it's so like, I'm so driven by emotion when I write, so it was kind of like I met up with my friend um, Lauren. Um, I didn't really know her at the time, but my A and R Brad sent me her stuff, and I was like, "Wow, she's got a really cool moody voice," and that's my music basically. It's very moody, a little darker, and so um, we got together and wrote on a Friday. We wrote the chorus, and then I kind of um, we recorded like a just a little piano loop for like five minutes, and then I just in my hotel room I just wrote it. And then I went in the studio Monday and we recorded it, man. And I'm so, I mean, that song was meant to happen for sure, I feel like. It was just, it kind of brought the album together and it was, um, I, just, I love that song. But it's definitely, I mean, it's really personal and really real, so. Um, it's been really good, man. I'm, I was really excited about it because I feel like um, I do a lot of singing and I do a lot of different styles of music in All We'd Release is the EP and we had a really good response um, from the EP. So I was excited to see how people took it and also I feel like it's not just normal hip hop. It's it's like, I mean, the, the track that I'm rapping on is very like different I feel like. So I thought it was unique and it was cool and there was no chorus and it was just like three minutes of just rapping which is something like I really love to do. I love intense songs. Um, but I think it just it just shows people like when they get to the album, I liked it because you know there is singing on the album. It's all my but it's all my style and even though every song is kind of a little different, you know, it's I think it comes back to like the NF signature style. You know, I love pianos, I love strings, I love all that kind of stuff. So um no, man, I'm really happy with it. I think fans and new people that are hearing it or they like it a lot and it's something new and fresh and different. So uh, moments I was in high school and I literally like I say in intro like every time I got money I was either buying studio time and I was also making a lot of my own beats um, but I mean I, I didn't have any money it was like forty dollars for studio time an hour which is like dirt cheap to most people but for me it was like we don't where I lived you know it's such a small town we don't have studios we don't have like much of that so it's way different man I mean you have a budget and you have a team that's actually the production's ten times better it's just it's way different it's still the raw feel um, I think I've just obviously I feel like I've just grown up matured and found like my sound more 
because Moments is very, I mean, Eminem was a huge influence, so Moments is very, you know, in that lane, because that's what I was listening to, so. I mean, it's awesome, man. It's not like I've made it yet, near, you know, I haven't, like, made it or anything, but it's like, I definitely, it's cool as an artist and someone who's been doing this since I was, like, 12, to, like, finally see, like, some momentum and see people, like, okay, like, who is this person and like we, we enjoy his music and he's talented because just like any other person who works in any profession like I've spent a lot of time trying to like build this and like become a better artist and MC and it's just it's definitely cool man like I'm humbled to to have the opportunity I have because there's a lot of artists and talented people you know that may never get that opportunity it's just hard so I feel like everything's kind of falling into place for me and I'm really excited about it so. 